What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here at our Ultra Prism free release. I am so excited. Uh, hopefully, I get some good pulls today. I haven't played it in a pre release since I can't remember when, but it looks like we've got a good turnout. Uh, so far, uh, registration is just getting ready to start, so uh, pre-release. This gentleman is not letting me sign up. Oh, okay, so apparently registration has already begun, and I'm borderline late at this point, but I <laughs> dare Mikey to not let me sign up for this yeah. thing. So, uh, you know, the, the success of this video basically depends on it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get ready to play, <laughs> play the pre-release, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Uh, I've done uh, a bunch of, you know, kind of pre-release videos um, so far in the studio but I'm excited to actually get to play in the tournament environment get three rounds and pit my deck against these other competitors here uh, some of which have traveled here from all over the place so super excited and uh, we'll see how it goes welcome to the Dariums CCG's premium a uh, premium that's it premium pre-release <laughs> on the prism all right so today all right so today we're gonna be passing out these kits they're, um, you're going to get a 23 card evolution pack in it with four packs. There's going to be a promo inside there, and you're going to build a 40 card deck out of that, all right? Um, we have energies up at the counter here for you to use. You're going to build the 40 card deck, and you're not limited to four of a kind. So normally you only have four of a copy in your deck, so four Pikachus. Now with pre-releases, you're allowed to have multiple, so you want to play 20 Pikachus, you can play 20 Pikachus in your deck. <laughs> All right? There is no trading with other players until at the end of the tournament. All right? So after the tournament, you can trade all you want, but you're not allowed to trade during the tournament because say you get a uh, so Galio, but you don't have a uh, Cosmoem, you cannot play that, unfortunately. Only else you have a rare can. But there, I don't think there's red candies in the set. So, what you're going to do is we're going to start passing out these packs. Do not open your kit until I say so. You're going to have about 25 minutes to build your deck, and then we'll start playing some Pokemon. How's that sound? Yeah! Ooh, yeah, I got my card. Yeah, I got my card. Oh yeah. So uh Aaron uh took a pre-release kit and yeah. is not playing but nope. just wanted to uh, crack it and yeah. show us what you got Aaron. I got these two things. Oh my gosh, you got a Rainbow Rare Celestia and a Luminala Prism. Aaron, that's the most busted pre release pack I've look seen. At the, look at this Sneasel. I know, the Sneasel is great. I, I love Sneasel. The Sneasel is just like hanging out. <laughs> like, look at that sneaky smash, though. It's I so know, good. Like, very cool. The these these cards basically are worthless. But like, worthless, but, but the Sneasel. Worthless, Aaron. I mean, these are these are valuable cards. People, are you sure? people really want those. I don't know. The Sneasel, though, you think that's all that matters? Yeah. I mean, oh, this I agree. Oh, and the Lickitung is yeah. really cool too. Lap up. Draw two. Three cards! What's not to like? Alright everybody, finally got my own pre-release kit and I am going to be building my deck to compete with at the pre-release. Let's see what kind of good stuff we got. I saw some sick pulls out there in the tournament, you know, scene. I saw uh, some Celestila GXs. I saw some Prism cards. Aaron, you know, got some sweet pulls too. All right, Aaron, no trading, but oh, check that out. Aaron opened two hits in his pre-release kit. All right, looks like I got the Heatran. This is really exciting. I actually really wanted the Heatran evolution pack because that means that I get two Heatran and I get Magnezone in here, uh, I'm pretty sure. So let's take a look at these. I'm gonna open them upside down. Awesome, got Heatran, got some Magnezones. I'm pretty sure it's a 2-2-2 two, two, two Magnezone line. And I'm pretty sure the evolution pack comes with another Heatran, it does. Yep, I got a second Heatran. Oh, and I've got Electivires in here. I love Electabuzz and Electivire. Very cool Pokemon. And then, let's see, I got some supporters. Oh, Professor Kukui, I haven't seen that yet. Volkner, uh, Sophocles, Looker. All right, so it looks like I I uh, didn't get the Cynthia, but I also have the 2-1 Gumshoes line. The Gumshoes is really good, and there's a code for anybody checking out the video. Go ahead, 
help yourself to a code. I'm gonna rip that up and let's take a look. I gotta build quickly here since I was filming, so I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna sort these into some piles so you guys can see what I got going on as I build my deck. Go through the process here of deck building, got all our trainers, supporters in one pile, and then my common Pokemon or my colorless Pokemon over here. All right, let's see what I got in my first pack. Gosh, I hope I could get a hit. That would be really exciting, but uh, I don't know. I can't win them all. Aaron is uh, Aaron was complaining at me because I kind of oh I got a Magnemite. That's really good for me. Uh, Aaron was complaining because I've kind of taken over his studio space over here. Uh, but uh, oh, I've got Magarna too. That's really good for a metal deck. And let's see, missing Clover. What I think I could just look at the top card of my deck. Uh, that's that's not probably going to be super useful. Uh, let's see, and a Perugly, and another code. So, all right, there's code. Rip that up. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, looking like I'm probably going to be working with a metal deck, which I'm excited about. Magnazone is just super good. Let's see, I got Scruppy, Skuntank, Young Goose. Oh, that helps with my uh, my my Mr. Uh, you know whatever that thing. What's the thing that evolves from Young Goose, Natalie? Uh, gum shoes. It helps with my gum shoes deck. All right. Uh, Sand Slash. Licky Lily. Oh, I got Licky Lily. Very cool. Fire Energy. A low punny. Shield Don. All right. Shield Don. Pretty cool. Oh, and I got another gum shoes and a code. So now I have, I think, a 3 2 gum shoes line. So that's actually super good. I could definitely play that in my Magnazone deck. Two more packs remaining. Can I get a hit? I don't know. All right. Scruppy. Skun, uh, stunky. Oh, another Young Goose. That's really good. Uh, Diglett. Another Electivire. Okay, so now I have some Electivires. That Shaman is really good for my deck, too. I could play that to help set up my, uh, set up my, you know, my, uh, my Magnazones. Yeah, set up my Magnazones. That's right. Oh, I'm missing my words. Oh, a Bronzong. He's cool. Another Metal-type Pokemon. Looks like I'm definitely playing a Metal-type deck. I have one pack remaining. Can I get my, uh, my first hit out of a pre-release pack. I don't know, Aaron got two hits. That just seems unfair. Aaron, yeah, why do you get two hits? And then, you know, uh, I'm no, I'm not upset, it's fine, you know. Already. You made your deck already? Yeah. Oh, it's just 59 energies in your hits. No, no it's, uh, oh. it's a bunch of energy. I don't think you play more metal Aaron. And, 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 these and, two and those two cards. And then this. Oh, and your blendy, and okay. And then my, you know, Cynthia. Oh, very good. Ball, just in case I don't, you Just know. in case you don't, uh-huh. Yeah. See, I've got Sand Slash. <laughs> Vulpix. Oh, bronze, or I could play my bronze on if I want to. Dupiter. Piplup. Sandalit. Oh, and a Glaceon GX. Oh, I got a hit. Yeah. That's exciting. Oh my gosh. I don't think I got an Eevee though, so I can't even play it. Oh, I got a skateboard. I'm playing a skateboard in my deck. Guaranteed. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So we got a hit. Yes, I am so happy we finally got ourselves a hit and we got an escape board. Let's go ahead and build this deck. Now, unfortunately, like I said, I do not have any copies of Eevee, I don't think. No, I did not get any Eevee. So that Glaceon is just going straight to the binder and that's okay. So uh, unfortunately, that's not happening. Aaron? Yeah. Aaron's trying to give me an Eevee. Aaron, you cannot give me that Eevee. That's cheating. No, it's okay, not. so. It's only cheating. We do have a lot of good stuff. Now I have to build my deck quickly here, so I'm going to uh, gonna just kind of cut to the chase. If you want to see some more detailed, you know, uh, deck building for the pre-release where I explain what I'm what I'm doing in my deck building a little bit more, I did some controlled studio deck buildings for the pre-releases, and you can check those out. But uh, I got to get going here because I spent like most of the deck building time. Uh, working on filming. So, uh, I have the 1-1 one, one Bronze Online. I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it. I didn't get a lot of search cards. Uh, I'm not playing the Diglets. I'm not playing the Shield on. The Magirna is really good. I have three Magnemites, two Magnetons, three, uh, two Magnezones. That's really good. The two Heat Trans and the Magirna is excellent. Now, I probably want some sort of type coverage. Like, what if I go up against a fire type Pokemon, that's where the Young Goose is gonna come in. Definitely gonna end up playing those guys and my Gumshoes. I have four Young Goose and two Gumshoes. That seems pretty good. Uh, I don't think I really need to play anybody else. I'll just play my Shaman 
and unfortunately I did not get one of those uh, one of those I don't know like the little scary psychic thing uh, I forget what his name is the scary psychic guy uh, Natalie who's that spear to him okay spear to him unfortunately I did I did not get a spear to him I wish I did I know the spear to him would have been so good I would have played him in here for sure so let's see what kind of trainers do I have I have a Vulcaner playing it a skateboard I don't think magic clover is actually worth playing nope magic clover is not worth playing looker uh, Sophocles, Great Ball, Timer Ball, another Volkner, a Professor Kakui, and two more balls. All right, we're going to play those. Maybe I'll play the Bronze Online. Seems okay. Let's see what I'm working with as far as Pokemon goes here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's 29, so I only have room for 11 energy. I think I can cut something to have a little bit more energy. I'm either going to cut, um, I could do the bronzong, I could cut the bronzong, or I could cut one off of the gumshoes line. The bronzong seems pretty good. Let's take a look at that bronzong again. It's got Hypnosis on Bronzor and Spinning Attack. Let's see, Cybolt, flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. That seems pretty good too. Also resist Psychic. Uh, I mean, all the metal Pokemon resist Psychic though. Uh, psychic Resonance is actually really good though. If your opponent has any uh, Psychic Pokemon to play, this attack does 60 more damage. I definitely like that. Uh, I think, let's see, this is good. The Magirna, just because it's like 90 hit points and 60 damage for one. Uh, for three energy, definitely the Heatrans, definitely the Call for Family Shaman. I think probably I could take off a single Young Goose. You know, I probably don't need that many Young Goose. Probably three Young Goose, two Gumshoes, so that's 12. And then I could play, let's see, that, this probably seems pretty good, 12 energy. Um, seems fine. Probably want to play a little bit more though, just so I could really take advantage of Magnazone's ability. I'll probably end up cutting these guys all together and just play 14, cut the Bronzong, make the deck a little bit more consistent. So 14 Pokemon, that seems pretty good. Or right, 14 uh, energy, let's see. So I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 14 energy. We're gonna go ahead and ship this thing, call it a day, our Magnazone deck. Let's see if we can win any games. Uh, even if we don't do well at the end of the day, I was still able to pull that sick Glaceon GX so that is really exciting gonna go ahead and put that guy straight into the binder uh, I actually really love this art of Glaceon uh, I think that this is probably my favorite art uh, as I've said before I don't like how with the full arts the text goes all the way up to his mouth uh, so I like I really like the art on this I think it's beautiful uh, it's just got this like nice kind of like snowy mountain background you know check that out so gorgeous card going straight to the binder unfortunately not going to be able to get played in my pre-release deck but uh, about to sleeve this baby up and see if I can win some games. All right, round one, I'm playing against so Sarah. Fun. Hi, Hi Sarah, is your deck any good? Uh, I mean, I have two GXs in it. Oh, you have two GXs in your deck? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, poor deck. All right, I've got no GXs in mine. So, uh, all right, well, uh, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Secret Rare Skateboard. I just found out that there is a Secret Rare Skateboard. How did I not know this? I don't know. I, I had no idea. 
There's a secret rare skateboard. It's golden. It's amazing. And I haven't seen one in real life yet. I've decided that I want to get a PSA 10 secret rare skateboard. This is what I want. Uh, I think that it would look great on my shelf. I don't have any PSA graded cards, but this is the only one that I want. It's a secret rare skateboard. And I also just want a whole binder full of secret rare skateboards. I think that'd be great. And uh, just a whole binder. I just want lots of them. I have a feeling that it will not be a very expensive card. So it'll be very easy for me to hoard them. And I think that this just will bring uh, some sort of happiness. I don't know. Maybe. This is what this is what collectors feel. They want to just gather all the things. I don't know. I'm having that urge, though, for secret rare skateboards. It's such a great card. And uh, I'm really stoked on it. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be my goal, and from now on, going to be hunting for a PSA 10 worthy secret rare skateboard and also just trying to hoard as many of them as I can. So, wish me luck. All right, so ended up fifth place, dude. Will just pulled yeah. a rainbow rare. Show us what you got, Will. Right, Show us what you got. Show us what you got. Oh, a rainbow rare Glacian. Oh my god, Will, what are you going to do with it? Probably sell it. Uh, okay, yeah, that's super reasonable. <laughs> Prices great. are probably going to be like super inflated for at least the next three weeks. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> right down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Rainbow Rare Glaceon in hand. In hand. <laughs> in hand. Literally yeah. in hand. Check oh, that out. Can. All right. I guess you can't so, make I've got. Uh, we got fifth place. So Will got fourth. I got fifth. And I've got four packs of Ultra Prism to open. All right. So I've got four packs here. Natalie's gonna be my hands for me while I film what I get in my four Alrighty. prize packs. Did we get anything? All right, what do we got whistle. there? A looker whistle. Oh. oh, and a reverse thing. A change clothes. Oh, he changes clothes. I used him in my pre-release deck. Nice. Oh yeah, put that a skateboard on everybody. <laughs> it was awesome. They all skated. All right, they were all skating. Let's see anything in this next pack. Come on, let's get a secret rare skateboard. I would literally cry. I think I would cry if I got one. Oh, nothing. Okay, that's fine. All right, on to the next pack. Come on, let's see secret rare skateboard. Can we do it? Let's do a secret rare escape board. Nope, not quite either. We got a. Oh no! Come oh, on. Oh, one these, more. One more. Let's go. Mine. One more. I believe. It's gonna be, I believe. It's gonna be good. Oh, I see you. Do I see a boy? No. No, nothing. Oh God, dreams broken. Okay. Anyways, uh, this is fine. Uh, fifth place got Iglesian, and uh, at least it wasn't a total dub. So that just about wraps it up for the pre-release. Had a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, fifth place, can't complain too much. Two in one record. Uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure to check me out on Twitter at EnjoyFriend if you want to follow just more Pokemon news and the goings-on of me going to tournaments and things like that. So thank you all for watching the video. Peace.